I'm going to follow that up with a very, very similar option. Someone that sucked this last week and has super disappointed this year was Carson Wentz as one of my two. The, the Eagles dropped Jordan Matthews. This is a great indication that either Alshon Jeffrey and or Nelson Aguilar could both be back and healthy. And while the Eagles aren't what we hoped that they were, this is the Dolphins matchup. And they're not going to have a bad offensive game, assuming that Alshon, this is predicated on Alshon being back. But if Alshon is out there against the Dolphins, with Lane Johnson back now, I believe that you're absolutely fine with Carson Wentz. So yes, you can have the floor, Andy. I don't need the floor. I just need to talk to you as a friend. I would just be afraid. I would be a little You'd bit You'd be afraid. more afraid of Wentz than of Goff. I would. Okay, tell me why. Because I don't want to mess with what I saw last week from Carson Wentz. You don't know Alshon's back. He's dealing with an injury to his hand, which could uh, you know, further complicate the, con- the potential. I just am a little bit gun-shy on that side. I have this decision to make in Listener League. Uh, the Carson Wentz decision, and you know, I would be trying to find another option until, until I can't. Okay, I well, I mean, are you? If Alshon's out, do you change your opinion? Yes, yes. That's so what just I said. one predica- player, no, one player makes it. He difference. needs, he needs a uh, yeah. It's it's not it's more than one player because you have secondary wide receivers already injured. You need a wide receiver one, and he is that. Um, so if Alshon is back and Lane Johnson is there to help protect him against the Dolphins, I do think that you're going to be absolutely fine. Um, now, the hand, the hand is legit. Obviously, if, if Wentz is missing practices, whatever. But I think Carson Wentz is fine. If you are opposed to that, my other streaming candidate. Yeah, I wouldn't play Wentz. So you're you're both on the anti-Wentz. Yes. Against He's- Miami. Car, this this is a anti wins take, man. He's been horrifically bad. I know he's been terrible, but look at the four matchups and then the fact that this weekend, no Lane Johnson, no Nelson Aguilar, no Alshon Jeffrey. I mean, what do you want Wins to he's do? He's still he, turned the ball over four times. He's And he's been in plus matchups before earlier in the season and didn't get it done. He played Atlanta week two when you could play literally anyone. You could play Jared Goff against Atlanta. He put up 231 and one with two interceptions against at that time, which was the worst pass defense wait, wait, wait. in the NFL. I'm not saying he, he was he was the quarterback ten that week. Yeah, so look that, deeper because he that. had a, okay he had a rushing touchdown right, which which really matters. Yeah, Jay, I was a top I, ten quarterback. He, why, <laughs> what you, what you, that's a bad dig in though because we're not saying that he can't have a good weekend against Miami. I think we're saying. Where do you want to put the hopes and yes. dreams of your season? Do you want to put it on maybe the worst quarterback performance of the week with a, a team that's dealing with injuries, four turnovers, a hurt hand? It's just risk aversion. Yes. That, I think that's I, what it's it is. not that he can't dominate Miami. It could happen. But he didn't dominate Atlanta. He finished tenth and he had to do a rushing he had to have a rushing touchdown to get to tenth. So it's just risk. I, it's just, you can the, do what you want. The, sure. The hand is an issue if he's missing practice. Okay. But I I'm, believe... I'm told that hands are important for a quarterback. Yes. If... if I don't know. If I've Alshon never been is one. out there, I think that you can absolutely play him against the Miami Dolphins, who are the third worst against quarterback. Everybody has beat them. You know, that was Josh Allen's big monster game. Baker, how'd he look? Freaking fantastic. So that that's my thought. On the How'd other side, Brian Hoyer look. <laughs> okay, fair. Was, Br- was Baker Brian, targeting fair. Jordan Matthews? Brian Hoyer Matthews? had a bad game. Um, well, Carson Wentz can't target wait, Jordan yeah, Matthews. Yeah, Jordan Matthews, anymore. you mean He's the guy gone. they just cut because Correct. the wide receivers are coming back. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> what do you mean? That's they just, what happened. They got so bad that they had to run Jordan Matthews out there. Exactly. And now they said, oh, thank goodness we can cut him, not for no reason, but because the, the boys are back in town. Oh, give me a break. All right. I just want I want to say one more thing about Carson Wentz. Oh, good, because that's all I want to talk about. <laughs> and that is that it is in no person's greater interest than mine yeah. to support him He this did week. see the future. I, I, I love Carson Wentz heading into the year. Uh, he was one of my my guys. His team has been decimated. I don't think Alshon fixes everything. I think it's a realism thing of knowing that I 20 points for Carson Wentz this week is, is, is fine. I mean, he he can get there, but 
What about it, this is like the golf situation with the Rams. The the Eagles offense isn't what we thought it'd be and the Rams offense isn't what we right, thought. Right, but against Arizona you could play what about if he was playing the Giants? It depends on uh if his hand is hurt and he's got all his receivers and we've seen something. What if he was playing the Redskins? Yeah, the next three weeks. Yes, that's my point. Well good. Please, Carson. Please, please just get it back together. See, I think people need to understand why you're this passionate. What you wanna tell him? We I've got, got we got take you wanna lock. tell him why? <laughs> got, we've got, call we've got the doctor. Take lock. <laughs> Hold on. Yes. No, I don't take have, lock. I don't have take lock. Here's the truth. I have him in our league of record. I have held him for this time. I don't have take lock. I'm the one that benched Wentz to pick up Tannehill this last week. I wasn't sticking. If I had take lock, I would have lost last week and not <laughs> and kept rolling with Carson Wentz. But he didn't have Alshon. The weather was bad. He didn't have Lane Johnson. It's true. Uh, yeah, may, so, and, in other words, just so that our listeners really understand, we've gotten a lot of feedback. They love hearing the ins and outs of – our big leagues and what puts you on tilt and what gets you uh, excited, named Raheem Mostert. And you're basically saying, I mean, you've got Tannehill on your roster. I've got Tannehill and Wentz. So you're going to play Wentz. I don't know yet, but stay tuned. Mm. I will be. I, I like mm. that the two streaming mm. options are the quarterbacks he has. That is. Take lock. <laughs> genuinely. Take lock. <laughs> 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 Oh, All right, okay. Cole in East Lansing, Michigan. <laughs> Given the state, he's going to be so tilted this week now regardless because this conversation is going to come into his mind when he makes that it's the, No matter that what happens, it's the over. only way that things go well, the only way things go well for me is if I actually start Wentz and he completely balls out over Tannehill, that then I'm happy. Every right. other situation <laughs> that can possibly happen is now a negative. You're 100% right. Hate this sport. Take All right. Uh, <laughs> take lock. Take lock. Hey, guess what? Click that subscribe button, and I might send you something in the mail. Maybe you should do it.